Hi everyone. In this video, I'll teach you how you can export your books from Goodreads to a CSV file so you can use it in Microsoft Excel. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you probably have an idea of what Goodreads is, but you might want to check out my other videos that go into the topic a bit further. Goodreads is essentially a social media for books. You can write reviews and have friends and stuff and rate your books, keep track of your books. But some people want to keep export them uh, into Excel or something so they can keep a, another record of it or for whatever reason. So all you need to do is head over to my books. And then at the bottom on the left here, you see in tools, you see import and export. So we're going to click on that. And then you you get Im export, import, and import from a web page. You can also remove all your books, but that's probably not what you, what you want to do. So here we're going to do export library, and that's going to uh, export it into a CSV file. So this might take a while. It says we are currently generating your export. Uh, this may take time if you have a large library. My library is about 400 books, so it can take a bit of time. But from experience, it's a minute or two. I'll just speed up the video while it's uh, updating. Okay, so that was about like 15 seconds or so. You see your export from today at, that's the wrong time. That might be a bug or I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but it doesn't really matter. If I click on it, you see at the bottom left of my Google Chrome browser, I now have a uh, Goodreads library, whatever, something dot 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 CSV. Okay, so I'll click on that and then we can look at what it looks like in Excel. Okay, so now we are in Microsoft Excel. You see that I have about how many rows? Let's scroll over to the bottom. Should have around 400. Yeah, 404, which makes sense. And now let's look at the columns. Uh, you get some book IDs, which are just random IDs to uh, like for each book, you get a different random ID, a unique ID. And then you get the title of the book. So this is Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. Uh, the author is here, uh, additional authors. I think this is it. And um, the ISBN, another ISBN one through. I'm not sure what this is, but there's more information than most people need. Most people, need, want this just to create a little graph or something, even though Goodreads itself has some nice uh, stats features and graphing features, but it's whatever, right? You have many reasons, you might move to another platform. And then you have uh, your rating. So this, you'll only have a rating for the books you've actually read probably, right? The average rating on Goodreads, um, the publisher, the, the binding, is it a hardcover, paperback, number of pages, year published, original publication years, date read, date added to your shelves, the, the bookshelves, and uh, some, because there's positions, you can rank your books, and then exclusive bookshelves, so like yeah, that's read or want to read and, and so on. Um, your review, if you wrote a book, so for example here, uh, very practical and realistic, like every other how-to book out there, putting it into practice is a challenge. And that's a review for How to Be a Straight A, straight a Student by Cal Newport. So yeah, if you have book reviews, that's also useful. Uh, so this is a read count, so some people read books more than once. Uh, there's a few here that I probably have a read count. The Dao De Jing I read a bunch of times, but... Um, yeah, and then the, the rest is like more meta data a bit, but this is it. This is how you export your Goodreads data into Excel. And maybe if you're interested, put in the comments that what can you do with this data? Like uh, a lot of the stats on Goodreads uh, can do most of it, but maybe you have some good ideas or what do you need this for? Thanks for watching. And more importantly, thank you for doing the work.